year one was coming in and adding six new venues to the two that we had previous experience with. So it was a big jumping in the deep end of the swimming pool experience. And so then we took very, very uh, careful notes of everything we learned from last year. And any place that we had room for improvement, we went full on to implement that. And I think one of the really amazing things about the partnership with the festival is that they are so receptive to anything that we want to do. Things such as uh, at the Orange, we uh, traded out a delay tower position that we didn't need for one that we did, and that shifted it to a complete set of coverage now on the playing field of Orange. We have 22 tech people here from Myersound, being the system engineers on each stage, and they're from all over the world. And then um, we meet up with the, um, with the Roskilde Festival tech guys from Denmark and also with the Bright Group people from Sweden and Norway. It's very interesting because um, we all work hand in hand. Last year was already good, this year it's even better. This year we were even more excited because we did some changes on some of the stages when the, in the system setup. One of those, for example, is uh, Orange. Last year we had the normal Endfire subwoofer array flown. Um, this year it's a gradient end fired subwoofer array, which is um, upward staggered, down steered, um, to be able to get the maximum cancellation on the stage and also um, backstage of Orange, which was a wish from the um, festival production. Now we have achieved that by around, let's say, 17 dB. So it's very, very quiet on stage. This year we have around a little more than 900 speakers spread across all stages, from Lina to Leopard to Lion to Leo, with 750s, with 900s, with 1100s, with VLFCs, a lot of point source speakers, which is mostly UPA and UPQ, and delays, front fills, in fills, near fill situation, some UPJs and the X40s. It's a completely unique experience to have a manufacturer in a ongoing relationship with the festival and it's also unique the way that Roskilde Festival has this family of RF techs that are taken seriously as trained professionals. But this is very unique in the level of commitment from the festival to this. Um, the partnership that Myerson has with Roskilde Festival is um, quite unique because having the chance to have Meyer sound speakers, especially Leo family on all stages on this festival for a week is, uh, I think, the best showcase a manufacturer could get for, uh, for their customers. Yeah.